IEC and NEMA schematic symbols and drawing comparisons. Recognizing and comparing commonly used symbols and drawing rules. Learning objective. Recognize the most commonly used IEC and NEMA schematic symbols. Compare how IEC and NEMA symbols are placed in a schematic diagram. Understand the placement of initiating devices and load or current consuming devices in a schematic diagram. What is IEC? The International Electrotechnical Commission is an international standards organization that prepares and publishes international standards for all electrical, electronic and related technologies. What is NEMA? The National Electrical Manufacturers Association is the largest trade association of electrical equipment manufacturers in the United States. Founded in 1926, it advocates for the industry and publishes standards for electrical products. Normally closed and normally open devices. All electrical switching devices are available in two states, normally closed and normally open. Normally closed, normally open, and shelf state. Normally closed and normally open is the state that the switch or contact is in when it is in its shelf or de-energized state. IEC Schematic Basic Rules Control circuitry is drawn between two horizontal lines. Typically the zero volt common is on the bottom and the fused conductor or hot is on the top. Switches and contacts are drawn vertically, starting from the top horizontal line with additional switches being added below. Loads such as coils and pilot lights are connected to the bottom line. NEMA Schematic Basic Rules Control circuitry is drawn between two vertical lines. Typically the zero volt common is on the right and the fused or hot conductor is on the left. Switches and contacts are drawn horizontally starting from the left line with additional switches being added to the right. Loads, such as coils and pilot lights, are connected to the line on the right hand side. Initiating devices can be connected in series or parallel. Devices such as switches and contacts can be connected in series or parallel. Load devices are connected in parallel. If there is more than one load device, they are connected in parallel. Load devices are never connected in series. Basic IEC and NEMA contact comparison. Note the relay contact orientation and the normally closed and normally open configuration. Basic IEC and NEMA push button contacts. Note the momentary push button contact orientation and the normally closed and normally open configuration. IEC and NEMA coils. Note the difference between the shape of the coil symbol. The IEC coil uses identifiers outside the rectangle and the NEMA coil uses identifiers within the circle. Employable Fact 1. IEC normally open switch contact blocks are green and have connection points labeled 3 and 4. IEC normally closed switch contact blocks are red and have connection points labeled 1 and 2. Employable Fact 2. Some electrical equipment manufacturers dual mark devices for IEC and NEMA connection point numbering.
Employable fact three, device contacts are often referred to as form A, B, or C. Form A represents normally open. Form B represents normally closed. Form C represents normally open and normally closed connected to a common point. Shown is a three wire float switch which contains a Form C contact arrangement. Many industries manufacture and distribute equipment globally. Electrical standards adopted by companies vary and it is good practice to learn more than one standard when working in the electrical trade. In summary, IEC schematic diagrams differ significantly in layout when compared to NEMA diagrams. Device symbols also differ and are drawn in different orientations. Knowing these differences will help in getting up to speed when switching from one standard to another. Many plants contain equipment with both standards for electrical schematics.